This video just provides a broad introduction to the repertoire areas of OPAS, the primary areas you'll use and the way they interact with each other. In your favorites menu on the right hand side, any program area that works primarily with repertoire is indicated by the yellow icon. So as you're adding areas to your favorites menu, those with yellow are repertoire or library related. And there are many different program areas and sub areas that we use in repertoire management. The three major areas that you'll use all the time are the works area, which is the tab I have open here, the composers on the left hand side, that tab, and a tab on the right for the library. And those are the three we'll look at here. First of all, in the center here is the works area. This is the primary repertoire area. This can be thought of as an electronic version of the David Daniels orchestral music book. It's all the information you choose to store about any piece of music. And that information is spread out over these menu items here on the left. So the piece of music I'm currently looking at is Holst's The Planets. And this main screen has the basic entry for that piece of music. It's title, movement, durations, etc. This screen has its instrumentation. This screen has additional data about the work we can choose to indicate. This screen has publication and library information. And this library entry for the Holst piece of music interacts with the library program area. We have the performance history for this piece of music and linked documents for this piece of music. So again, all these different screens detail a single piece of music, in this case, the planets. Now, every piece of music has to have a composer, and this composer links to the composer's area, which is this leftmost tab. If we open the composer's area, this is all the information we keep about any composer. And there's only three screens here, but you can see the main one indicates their biographical information. We have a checklist for any notes we may need to keep and documents for biographies or photos or things like that. So after you've created a composer, you can link him or her to a piece of music. Some of the music you play, you also own, and that's what the library area is for. So if we own a piece of music, we, we will create a library entry for that piece of music. And just like the composition, I'll switch back to the composition, just like the composition entry links to the composer here, the library area links both to the composer and to the work. And this main screen has all of the basic information about the paper you own for this piece of music the scores, the parts, shelf number, publisher, etc. And just as we saw before, all these other screens have other information about this library set. When did we loan it? When did we use this particular set in performance? The cost of the set, and so on and so forth. So the composer's area, the works area, and the library area all work in connection to help you manage music. The works area is the primary one. It's where new repertoire is created, where you go to look up the performance history of a work, and from there you can branch off into detail about the person who wrote the piece of music in the composer's area, and any sets or parts or scores you own in the library area. And all three of these use the new icon in the lower right hand corner to create a new record, and the red X to delete a record. You cannot delete a composition in OPAS if that composition is linked to any performances or any library records.